Hello. I'm back to paint some orcs. Let's give it a hook, shall we? Just doing some stuff since last time. I don't know how well that's picking up. Let's see here. I got it zoomed in all the way. Sorry about my dirty fingers. I did a bit of things since last time. Painted him up a bit more. Yeah. Gave him some jeans and a gray shirt. Because I don't know if you guys heard last time, but this guy's based off my father. So he's got a wrench. He's pretty much a real life mech boy. <clears throat> but he wears jeans and a gray shirt most of the time so that's what I gave him doing this guy too I started painting up his teeth I'll fix his gums later So I think that's what I'm just going to continue doing is fingernails and teeth. Because I like painting the teeth. But I hate painting the fingernails. So, get the thing done that I dislike the most. Job's a good one. Mm, sorry. I was listening to my last video and uh, shaking my paint. It kind of sounds like something else. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, I only save that something else for my uh, OnlyFans account, so gotta get all my bases covered. Alrighty, put that there for now. <laughs> Ooh wee, looks watery. Oh well. As Duncan Rhodes says, two thin coats and the painting coach, he says that as well. Let's see, am I getting caught here? Are you guys capturing me? Are you seeing me? Am I caught? Okay. This is me in a nutshell. How do I get inside this nutshell? Do 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 do. <clears throat> See, the issue I have with painting the fingernails is I don't have anything like to. Um, really see what I'm doing, so I kind of just hit it, <laughs> and then I just go back and clean it back up with the, uh, the green I used. Sometimes I get lucky and I hit the fingernail perfect, just the edge of my brush, but you see right there I didn't, but that's all right, I'll clean that up. Jaws. No, this is pretty. I, I know this tune. I don't know it, but I like this song. <clears throat> Another thing I've been noticing is like some of my videos are getting copyright stricken because of these classical tunes. Um. And I believe it's because of the whole or the the war going on, because Sony is restricting some of the classical music to Russia, and that uh, restricts the videos. And I find that just interesting in and of itself. I'm not particularly too chapped by it.
the blind fire here. I think the fingernails are around there. Something like that. Let's do this a bit. Yeah. Kind of hit his palm a little bit. Let's hold him like this. Do this. There we go. Look how shaky my hands are. And I'm painting minis. So don't doubt yourself. Okay? Just do what you're doing. A mistake isn't a mistake until you know you can fix it. As far as art goes anyway. Am I getting picked up? Yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> That's cool. I think I got his fingernail. <laughs> Shaky hands. What is thou shaking for? For whom the hands shake? Do they shake for thee? For they serve no other purpose but to shake. Hmm. Well, what do you guys think? Look at those fingernails. <laughs> Big old long fingernails. I'll fix those though. I'll fix those. It's probably why it takes me like a couple of months to paint miniatures because I do a lot of back and forth, but hey. That's just how I do things. And that's how I paint minis. So I'm not uh, I'm not trying to win any competitions or teach anyone how to paint. It's just how I do it. I follow <clears throat> I follow some of the well just the tutorials that I watched. And I try to apply that to just all the minis I paint. Watch Duncan Rhodes. He's a uh, Painting Academy channel and uh, the Painting Coach. They're both fun to watch. Can I get that? Just like this. Man, I'm gonna need like harnesses and stuff soon enough to uh, steady my hands when I paint. Either that or just, you know, don't drink five cups of coffee in the morning before 10 o'clock. That'd probably be my issue. Should I drink water or coffee? Hmm. Hmm. Coffee. Praise coffee doo Even the song agrees, coffee doo Mmm. Gigantic coffee bean faced monster. The amorphic mass of coffee beans. The sight of these gigantic beans drove me nearly insane. These queer beans. <laughs> I could I could barely describe these queer beans. Edward, the first mate. Tried to scream, but his mouth was agape with horror at these queer beings.
Ja. Kis pivot, polje, zubari. You mustn't shake incessantly. My mind went insane from trying to paint these tiny claws. Okay. See, I think for the most part his nails on this hand are covered. So I don't really have to really paint them. I could cheat. I could be a cheater. Mm, yes. Mm. I could cheat Chauncey. Do it. Cheat. Execute order cheats. Cheat cheat cheat. <sighs> what do you think Gork and Mork? Should I try aim for it? Yep. Yeah. You know. Mm. Look at that. Touched his belt. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't do anything a little bit. But I can fix that up with some steel. Ah, uh, red belcher. I'll do some little belcher later. I always feel weird doing these because I'm talking to myself. And I don't really have much talking points. Just kind of riff, but. I could talk about something. I watched. I watched. Um, <clears throat> I watched. <clears throat> I think possibly eight episodes of the new uh, Twisted Metal show. I gotta say, it's not bad. I wasn't expecting the best for most from it anyway, but. I kind of like the way they depicted Sweet Tooth in it. And it's got uh, Will Arnett's voice, so he's always pretty funny. Or usually pretty funny, I should say. I like him in, some, in the stuff that he does. Oops, you know what? Yeah, it's pretty funny. <clears throat> I mean, Twisted Metal, only a few of them really took themselves pretty seriously. They were, for the most part, it was pretty jokey. It would be playing the game and you get to the end and you get your wish and that's always a monkey's paw situation. <clears throat> Except maybe the first one. I haven't really played all that much of the first one or remember playing it because it was a long time ago when I played that on the original PlayStation. That could be an interesting story I could tell. A long time ago, uh, there was a store you could rent PlayStations from, and my cousin, or my brother, Angus, he rented it one time. And that was one of the games that he rented. I remember playing it and it was difficult for me at the time, so I just didn't play it. 
one of the other games that he rented was uh, like a point and click adventure game type thing. And it was called Silverload. And I'm, I can't, I don't know if it was about vampires or werewolves. I think it had both in it, but it was a cowboy game. That was pretty fun. Sounded interesting anyway. Ooh, and that's where I got introduced to Resident Evil. Resident Evil, I should say. I have to stop talking through my tongue. But, um... Yeah, he rented that. That was a pretty cool game back in the day. Never really got to uh, play too many really cool games like that back in the day. Till later on. But, uh... You know, grew up playing like Earthworm Jim and stuff. Mortal Kombat. Well, that was a <clears throat> that was a big old hand twitch, wasn't it? I likes it when me hand twitches. But yeah, there's his mouth. Whoa, and there's where I twitched right there. You see up there. I may have to fix that, but I might not. Might just be his tooth. Who knows? Who knows? Who else needs their teeth done? Teeth and nails. Let me get this guy going. I gotta go back and touch up their skin anyway because as I was dry brushing, I got onto the skin there. I should probably do all that stuff first, but hey, whatever. Whatever. See, the song agrees. <clears throat> Just take it as it goes, right? Yeah. Totally botched that one. So let's do this. Get the thing wet. Run it along there. Get that wet. Dry it off. Wick it away. Whip it away. Ah, no more mistake. Get some more paint on there. Give it a twist. Just give the paintbrush a little bit of a twist. Away twist. Looks like that fingernail is underneath his thumb, so I just paint his thumb there. Painting up his thumbnail with the Xander Gust. I hope I don't hit his fingers or else or else I'll yell fuck. Oh. I won't yell fuck. I would never yell fuck ever. Especially into the night sky. I don't do that. I definitely don't yell fuck into the night sky while on all four <coughs> on all fours like a dog. Alright, I won't do that. Nope. Damn it. 
That's a good spot to hold them too. Yeah, you guys can see that. <clears throat> oh well, I got that hand done as good as I feel like. <laughs> I mean, once I give them their Agrax bath, kind of blends everything together anyway, and then, uh, once I'm done blending, or letting that dry, the Agrax, I, uh, come back in and I hit it up with highlights anyway, so, it kind of makes it all look natural, I feel like, in the end. My own uh, personal opinion, but like I said, I'm no professional at this. I'm just doing it my own way, but following guidelines set before me. Following the guidelines of the four painters. I don't know if that got picked up. Alright. So how long have I been recording for here? Just 22 minutes? We'll keep going for a bit longer. Just a tad bit longer. I mean, considering the rate that I'm going, you guys won't be seeing me finishing the Earth Boys today. That's for sure. That's it. <clears throat> I will keep plugging away at them on my own. periodically throughout. Put that away for now. Yeah. Loaded up my brush too much. Yeah, so as I periodically go through them and do them. Do that. You can see better. Uh as I go through them, paint them, you'll see the progresses. They progress as I go along as well, anyway. So, you'll be seeing aspects of them as it's going. Sorry, I was thinking. I was thinking how I think I did an alright job on this guy's teeth. So I can get off two traits of interest for them maybe if they were like bumped over this way. No. No, I'm saying. Oh, hit his lip. I think I hit his lip a few times. That's all right. I'm gonna go over that with Kislev Flesh. Anyway, so. There, how's his teeth? <laughs> 